What's up, guys? So you probably saw, I guess it was probably almost a year ago now, I did a reel comparing the Zebolt Blazer IR LED head with the Model A IR850 and the BE Myers Kiji. And today I got a prototype of the Zebolt Vixel Blazer IR and I uh, relatively the same 2 to 20 beam divergence. Um, it, this one is full power, so once we get onto the comparison of it, of course, you know, take it with a grain of salt because it's obviously going to be much, much hotter than the uh, civilian power LED. But I would imagine the Vixel Civ model is going to be pretty wild as well. So just wanted to show these off. I feel like Zebolt's like America's best kept secret right now as far as illuminators go, um, especially at the price too. I mean, the mod light. These guys are 250 bucks, pretty anemic in my opinion, if you wanna shoot like these, I feel like are best suited if you're shooting with like a clip on, because I mean, you can you can really light shit up far away, whereas with this guy, no dice. And then the Kiji, similar performance to the IR850 and the price at whatever it is now, $900 is just like, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Why are you buying that? So I'm gonna show these off next to Red XE and an NGAL also, obviously Vixel Illuminator, so kind of get catch the vibe a little bit of what those are like and you know the z-bolts these are 288 msrp and then both on the killer site and z-bolt site they're on sale for 230 so it's kind of a no-brainer like if you need an illuminator to pair with a laser only unit it's i don't know i don't really think there's a better option honestly so excited to show show kind of the side by side of how these guys look i'm uh, just waiting for it to get dark out honestly and then i'm going to throw 14 up and we'll go go do that only downside in my mind is the size of them. They're obviously, here it is next to a mod light. They're freaking huge. But for the price, is that the trade-off? Perhaps so. And, you know, performance is what I'm after. Obviously lightweight, small, cool, but it's like, if it works, it works. I usually have this one tethered to my kit in a pouch and I use it for handheld to scan so I'm not pointing my gun everywhere. But, so yeah, I think if you grab one, they'll fit on a Reptilia body, they'll fit on the Mod Light bodies. I would definitely run it on 18350. You can run it. Uh, they'll fit on the new Surefire Scout bodies for the Turbo Series. If you want to run it on an older one, you'll have to go to Z-Bolt site and grab a thread adapter. But anyway, banger and absolute sleeper. So I'm going to cut this and then we'll get to being outside tonight. Alrighty, it's dark out now. Going to compare the Illuminators filming through a L3 M914A. I think this tube's like 2700 FOM. I don't know if that matters to anybody, but it might. Here is the Blazer IR LED by Z-Bolt. This is the civilian legal one. Next up here we've got a NGAL on dual high. And a uh, full power Raid XE on dual high. See that little halo up there in the branches? That's my one gripe with these, is they all have that. The Civ models have a little bit of that too, but because the output is so much lower, is I've not really noticed it to be a problem, but when the full power, it kind of pisses me off. Okay, so Z-Bolt, LED, Blazer IR, Civ Legal. Let me swap this head real quick. Get ready for this shit. Bam. It's ridiculous. So, I know this is a full power and you know, obviously it's going to be a bit different than the uh, Civ model, but like, oh my God, it's just sweet. So here it is at full tight beam divergence. Here's the Raid XE full power. And that is, give me a moment here. I only got two hands. Let me tighten that up. That's as tight as the Raid goes. So two degrees to 20 degrees on the Z-Bolt. It's obviously a little bit larger, but pretty wild and then let's go find it in my hoodie pocket here the NGAL dual high and let me tighten that all the way so it's about as tight as the NGAL but it's a much much more concentrated beam it's a lot brighter so I mean maybe not a lot brighter I'm also looking through a PVS 14 that's going through a Sony G master lens into my camera display right now so maybe I'm not the best judge but it's pretty ridiculous um, so keep an eye out I can't remember the exact month they said but I know that these Vixel Blazers are going to be coming uh, in 2024 so hopefully have them in the next couple months here maybe by summertime that'd be great but in the meantime you can get the Civ Power LED let me pop that out again 
which honestly, these LED ones are so damn good. Um, you know, if you have this already, I wouldn't be like, oh man, I gotta buy the Vixel one now. Like, it still is a banger. That's the LED, that's as tight as that one gets. To be honest, I feel like I could be wrong on the two to 20 thing with the Vixel, because it seems much tighter than that. So I'm gonna confirm with uh, John from Z-Bolt and I'll throw it in the caption if I am wrong. So anyway, Z-Bolt, Blazer IR, absolute bangers, and hopefully we'll have them soon.